think the most memorable case I had was I received a call from a mother out in Western Maryland. Her son had been the driver of the vehicle just about a mile inside the Maryland-West Virginia line. They had been rear-ended by a 17-year-old kid, and the wife of the woman, the, the mom has called me, so it was her son that was married to the deceased. And when I first took the call, the question is always, okay, you're hit by a 17-year-old kid. How much insurance is there on the other vehicle? Do you know? No, we don't. Okay, how much coverage do you have in your own personal vehicle? And I was told we have full coverage. We have $50,000 in coverage. So I drove out to Western Maryland, and my staff was kind of giving me a hard time because they're like, that's going to be not a case because there's no insurance coverage. I was going to do the case pro bono and just steer them through the insurance process and just give them free advice. When I got out there, one of the questions was, is there any way in the world that there's sufficient insurance coverage with a 17-year-old kid? And I was told, well, his grandfather who owned the car invented the Big Mac. Okay, there's a real good shot there's going to be additional insurance coverage. And there was. There was a $5 million policy that no one would even have known about and which the insurance company wouldn't even tell us about in the beginning. And we were able to get just a great result and a case that I thought was going to be a four-hour drive to Western Maryland just to give somebody free advice was uh, one of the more satisfying uh, cases I've ever handled as a result of really making a difference in the life of that husband with a deceased young wife and their small child. It really was a great case from my personal perspective to handle because the effect we were able to have for our particular client.